Welcome back and in this lesson we are going to um, export our uh, new camera and our point cloud to Maya and position our 3D object and render it out and put it back into Nuke and composite it. Alright, um, let's start this. Alright, I'm going to uh, create a right geo node and I'm going to create a merge geo node and I'm going to plug this in my camera and I'm going to uh, plug this in here alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this out to my tutorial folder and I'm going to call this my FBX and I'm going to call this my camera dot fbx alright so we only need my camera and let's execute this uh, don't use proxy proxy is on but don't use that and let's render it out And same thing we have to do for our point cloud. So I'm going to put it in here, put my merge geo in here, and I'm going to set my point cloud. I'm going to call this point cloud. Really easy. Execute. All right. Yeah. So um, I'm going to work in Maya 2011. Um, we are going to um, export it, uh, import our camera and our point cloud and then we are going to position our 3D model in here and composite it. Alright, I'm going to load up my Maya and then we're going to create our foreground element and make it as real as possible with, with not a lot of tools. Alright, so here we go and I'm going to import my I'm going to import my FBX file first my camera and we're gonna set up our frame to 148 and as you can see our camera should move. Yep, and it's moving. Great. So I'm going to do the same thing with my point cloud. And here we go, we got our point cloud. It's really um, small, so what I'm going to do, I'm going in my uh, outliner, and I see all my locators. A lot low, that is really a lot, but we needed it. And we're going to select them all, go into my channel, and set my scale to something like 0.2. Yeah, it's better, I think. A little bit smaller. 0.1. Yeah, here we go. And I'm going to I'm going to group my locators, call this point cloud, and then I'm going to group them both. And we got our center point, and now we can just kill it up as big as we want. Um, we are not going to work with scale because um, I'm not going to use that because I'm going to show you just how to if you don't have all those information because uh, you won't get that, those information if you're not if you're not like a professional so I'm going to show you how to do this without scale and everything and still make it look right I'm going to make it a little bit smaller something like 0.3 yeah that works all right uh, we're going to fill our cam anim and as you can see, it works. 
it works nicely. You can see our building in the back and our foreground element. This is the the pillar, and we got our ground, and everything is really nice on the ground. So what we're going to do? We're going to load up our in our camera. We go into select our camera, and we are going to our attribute editor, and we are going to our environment and create our image plane. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast, but um, this is not a Maya um, for beginners. It is really I'm going to do it really fast because I want to focus on the compositing and not on the 3D stuff. Anyways, we're going back to our image plane and we're going to create an image plane. All right, go to my image plane. I'm going to I'm going back to my folder and I'm going to my sky replacement and there's nothing inside of my footage here we go we got our footage and we're going to open it and we're going to look in our camera and here we go oh it's not moving so we have to use this image sequence and as you can see, it should move the same way as the camera, but oh, I think I saw something. I don't know if you guys saw it, but if you look at this building, the points are floating. You see that? Alright, we're going to fix that. And first of all, if you have this problem, don't worry, don't stress. Um, just find out find out what is wrong all right so we filmed this in 25 frames per second Maya standard is 24 frames per second so we go into our um, preferences uh, there's in my over here go into your set settings and here we go we can see film 24 frames and we're going to set it to Paul because sorry I'm from Europe and this is what we use over here alright I'm going to save this so now this should stay and it's a little bit longer so I'm going to just do for 8 and play this and as you can see everything is loaded up fine so what we've done very quick we got our 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 nuke information exported imported to Maya and now we are going to start our um, placing our geometry and everything so I'm just going to um, make a a flat a plane and I'm going to go to my cam atom and I'm going to uh, move it a little bit in front uh, I know this is the pillar so I'm going to put it more in the front of it and because there's no shadows I don't have to worry about um, where the sun is, 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 is from and I can just put my plane over here and I know this is the ground so really fast stuff just position my, my plane over here so my uh, CG element can stand over here on the ground alright in this lesson we uh, learned how to create our camera and import everything from Nuke into Maya and get ready for the next lesson because we're going to start um, creating our CG element and render it out into Nuke. Alright, see you in the next lesson.